What up, Frafferty Dose? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to bring you some developments here on Brick Dam. We're starting at Brick Dam and Sandyman Place. Right, this is the impeccable banquet hall. That street is Sandyman Place. And this is a colonial building. A few of them remaining now, one of the old colonial buildings. The building next door is the Status Hotel. We'll see it in the next video when I do a tour of Kroll Street. And on this side, that's the Palms. What I want to do in this video is to show you some changes in or developments in government infrastructure, government buildings in Georgetown. That's the PAMS. That is the equivalent of a nursing home run by the government of Guyana. On this side, this is the Ministry of Labor building. They've actually done some renovation on this building. Ministry of Labor took two buildings and joined them in the last in the last six months or so, they joined these two buildings to make a covered walkway in between them. That's the Ministry of Labor here in Georgetown, Guyana. And at College Road, so this next street is called College Road and Brick Dam. That large building is GT&T, which used to be Guyana Telephone and Telegraph Company. It was owned by the government of Guyana until he sold it to ATN, which is a, an American carrier. So this is the national carrier, but it's privately owned by the American company ATN. Now across the street here, there used to be a large colonial building. For a long time, there was a for sale sign. And then the building got sold, I assume, here it is, right? There's a large for sale sign. There used to be a three-story, a three-story colonial building in this lot. Now there is no building there. So you know, of course, that means a new building is going to be raised there in a few months. That's the AT, uh, G ATN gt and um, headquarters here in Georgetown. On this side, this used to be a parking lot. I think it's privately owned. But now, of course, it's overgrown because I think the owners are not sure what they want to do with it. I think they wanted to sell it, but they couldn't get the right price for it. But this is what's happening here, guys. So the reason why I'm showing you these changes and developments here is so you can see how things are changing rapidly. But some people are interpreting are putting a political spin on these videos. I'm not really a political candidate in any of our national elections or local government elections. I have no brief for any political party. I'm not affiliated to any political party. I'm not a member of any political party. So all of my videos are in fact non-political, apolitical. All right, so this is just showing you from a independent lens what changes are. This is the YMC, YWCA building here in Josh and Diana, and Women's Christian Association. Now on the other side, that's the GGMC, Diana Gold. The Diana Gold Board of Gold, Diana Geology and Mines Commission. So that's the compound for the Diana Geology and Mines Commission. It's a government building. And what I'm showing you is some of the changes that are happening even in the government sphere. This is a new building that was built. I'm not sure what they're building here, but there used to be what a car wash in this block. Now there's a parking lot and a new structure on the block. I think that building is also part of the YWCA. And on this side, what's coming up is, so that is the Guyana Geology and Mines Commission, as I said. That's the Guyana Geology and Mines Commission. Can you see the sign? 
Ah uh, yes, there the sign is. Looking into the sun so it's not that clear. That's the Guyana Geology and Mines Commission, but what's coming up here is this new building that is part of the Ministry of Health. All right, on the other side, of course, this I think is where the parking, the um, car wash used to be. There's something being built here, lots of small units that look like this. I suppose they're prefabricated wash sheds. Right, those are seem to be prefab watch sheds, sheds in the building. This building is getting some new paint. Girl guides, again, a girl guides. Behind this set of trees. But on this side, this is the Ministry of Health. Right, that's the Ministry of Health. Ministry of Health building that was uh, renovated a few years ago. But this building, which started construction under the previous administration is now completed or at least appears to be completed this building was meant to be one of the annexes of the ministry of health right that's the ministry of health building now completed that's the guyana girl guides association in that yard there's a lot of space in that on the grounds Everywhere is being built up. What I want to show you here is this is the new health Ministry of Health building that they built in there in the compound of the Ministry of Health. We'll take a look at it from the other side. And straight up ahead is the 1763 monument. Right, that's the 1763 monument straight up ahead. And or also referred to as coffee in Guyana. It's kind of a uh, commonly referred to as coffee. This is the square of the revolution. It's one of the busiest intersections in Georgetown because it meets traffic from Lysingen Road. That's the office of the president in the distance. And we're coming off of Brick Dam, right? That's Brick Dam we just came off of. That's the Ministry of Health building that's being built behind that sign. The colonial building in the distance. That building used to be a residence of the previous president. Burnham. It's now called Castellani House. It's a national heritage monument, national heritage site. And beyond this building is, that is beyond the monument, beyond the 1763 monument, is the new pavilions built by the previous coalition government. And we're going to talk about that before we finish this video. But what I want to show you is here, over here, this is the Ministry of Health um, compound. This is where, in fact, they issued their vaccines for COVID. So during the pandemic, this is one of the locations to come and get vaccines. That's the new Ministry of Health building. As you can see, that's their parking lot. That's the new building. We're looking into the sun, so you might not be able to see it as clearly as you would like. That's the new Ministry of Health building. I'm gonna go around to the side so you can see a little more of the dimensions of it. This is Hadfield Street. Which is turning out in my experience to be one of the more dangerous streets in Guyana as far as robbery. We want to see what this building looks like. The Ministry of Health building. So that building is new, just about completed. I don't think it's yet occupied, but it was started five years ago or more under the coalition government. And now it's been completed under the PDC administration.
And finally, I want to show you what's happening with this. With this huge structure, pavilion, that was built by the last administration, the coalition government built this. Structure. Right, that's the 1763 monument behind those trees. Right, that's the 1763 monument behind the trees for reference. And this set of buildings was built under the coalition government and is now abandoned by the PVPC. So that's what I want to draw your attention to. So over here, I think this is St. Sidwell's, the school and the church on Hatfield Street. And this structure, which has now been left to rot under the new government, is what the APNU AFC built during their five years in office as a place for their meetings. So this is a political, another political structure. So we're talking about this video, in this video is new developments in political um, infrastructure being built in Guyana. We've seen the the Energy Geology and Mines Commission, the GT&T building, which what used to be Guyana government-owned, Guyana's government-owned telephone company. We can see in the distance that's the Kuba Lodge, that's the Ministry of Foreign Affairs over there, and over here we've seen that that's Castellani House. It is a national monument. So we'll take a closer look at it in the next video. And here is what is happening. To political infrastructure in Guyana and the reason for pointing this out is to show you how disjointed development is in Guyana it's haphazard it is um, chaotic and wasteful so I don't know how much money was spent to build this arena I remember when they started identifying this as a location that is Durban Park to build this structure I thought this would be a good location to put a arena, let's say like um, right this is what's happening it's falling apart so I thought this would be a good place to build like a tennis center or a mini golf course you know sort of a nine hole golf course or more importantly uh, let's say a closed arena where you could host like 20 or 30 thousand 50,000 people in a covered arena like the um, Madison Square Garden for example or like uh, the National Tennis Center in New York in Queens where they have outer courts and the central center court that now has a cover right I remember the days when I used to attend the National Tennis Center um, US Open Championships when center court did not have a cover and so if it rained it would stop the matches now they have a cover and I'm thinking Guyana in the 21st century would be building something in that realm instead this is what they built and it's now falling apart it's rotting it's a waste a total waste of money because the current government has no interest in either maintaining or even redeveloping this area now this would be a great place like I said to put a national stadium a national exhibition center that is covered that is a lot like the um, you know basketball arenas like the Staples Center in Los Angeles or like Madison Square Garden or like the Coliseum right this would be the the location a prime location to place that kind of infrastructure you know a kind of a national stadium so that you could have major events that are protected from the weather covered 
hold 50,000 people, have several levels, and have uh, you know places to host events like tennis and golf or some indoor indoor um, concerts. You know, like major performances, major exhibitions, major um, major expos. You know, conventions. Something that you could host a sporting event, an indoor sporting event that can hold 50,000, 60,000, 100,000 people. That is what I thought we'd be able to do. But what happened under the last government and under this government is there's a total lack of vision, a total lack of ambition. Like I said, the last government decided that is the APNU, AFC government, decided to create a park on Merriman's Mall. And this new government decided to abandon that project and to create their own park on the train line embankment. And this is a similar situation. The last government decided to create a stadium, outdoor stadium with these wooden pavilions which was a bad idea. The new government decided to abandon this idea instead of revising it. For example, tearing down these structures, maybe salvaging some of the material that can be salvaged and building something bigger and better, like a major exp exp uh, exhibition center, like an indoor concert venue like Madison Square Garden, right? That is the ambition that I had. In fact, when this land was all open and there was nothing here, I thought, you know, this would be a great location to build, you know, 16 tennis courts and center court, like you have in, um, in New York. Or maybe a nine hole golf course that would stretch all the way to that new, um, that new fire station on Homestretch Avenue. But of course, none of that was to be because nobody has that kind of vision. Nobody's really thinking that far ahead. Good afternoon. Nobody wants to take responsibility for any major ambitious projects that can transform the nation. Everybody is short-sighted and small-minded and and really greedy in terms of trying to grab as much of the resources of the country for themselves, right? It's kind of a selfish way to run the country because if you notice, the politicians are the ones who are getting wealthy in this country. Like I said, I have no brief for any political party, so any of these statements that I make are in tech. In fact, quite apolitical. But in fact, because I'm here, because I'm still in Guyana, I can show you what the impact of the short-sightedness is doing to the country on both sides. This is a total waste of resources, a waste of material, waste of time. It's no longer a venue that is safe to use. Right now we're talking about development. This is prime land. Look at what's happening with this structure falling apart, completely abandoned by the current government simply because it was built by the previous government. This is what's happening here at Durban Park in Guyana and the reason for it is political short-sightedness. There are so many um, ways in which this land and this park could be used Right, it's quite large. I used to come out here and run on the track in the mornings because I was doing um, speed training, trying to run a mile in six minutes. So I'd run three times around this, three times around this track, gave me a mile. Because each, each loop around this track is about a third of a mile. I could measure it with my GPS. And so I was speed training here on a weekday morning 
instead of running up the coast to cover my 10 miles, I'd come out here and see if I can run a mile in six minutes. I got pretty close. I don't think I actually broke the six minute mile. Um, goal that I set for myself. But, you know, you could see this as more than just abandoned pavilions. It has the potential to be so much more and it's being wasted in a time when the country is growing very, very rapidly. And, you know, this kind of real estate is in demand and it should be used to build like something inspiring, something major, you know, like a like a new um, monument, meaning uh, like, you know, as, as big as, as big as say the Burj Khalifa, you know, this is, this is a central location in the city. You could build something inspiring like a you know, a skyscraper or something, or you could build a World Trade Center out here. But this is what's happening, guys. It's completely falling apart. It's the other side of development. I show you the things that are changing, the things that have gotten better in Guyana. This has gotten worse. And it's totally for political reasons and because of the short-sightedness. So those of you who think that I'm criticizing the politics of one political party or the other. In fact, my criticism is of both. So don't get excited because I don't have a favorite among politicians. I think all of our politicians in Guyana are substandard, deficient, and lack any kind of vision for this country. And if you're offended, then I'm sorry, that's on you. I'm not really, I don't really care. I have an independent lens and that lens I'm throwing entirely on the country at this point because it's the fastest growing country. Some things are being done well, but most of it like this is really the product of stupidity, absolute stupidity. So this structure is also falling apart. You can see there are broken windows here. All right, this used to be a pavilion that dignitaries and politicians and and uh, world leaders would, stand, would sit on and stand on during major um, events. But now, of course, it's all rotting and falling apart. Right, that's what's happening here at Durban Park in Georgetown, Guyana. So that's up, guys. That's what's up, guys. That's what's happening here in Durban Park. We're talking about development. This is the point where they had the tallest flagpole. There is no flag flying up there anymore. Somebody took the flag down. So that you see the state of things. This is a candid look at infrastructure that is falling apart, that is actually in the hands of the government and is falling apart for political, for only political reasons. This is in fact, inside underneath the pavilion right it's falling apart it's rotting it's being destroyed by termites and that's the end of billions of dollars spent on infrastructure in Guyana so that's what's up guys that's what's happening here at Durban Park. In the next video, I'll show you the changes that are happening on Kroll Street and South Road. But if you want to see more content like this, click like and subscribe. Share this video with friends and family around the world. Let people know what's happening here in Georgetown, Guyana. Remember, you can support this channel by visiting some of my platforms. I have 23, 25, 23 companies I'm working on, 25 in, pro, in the process of building. You can go check, I'll put the link in the description below. You can go check online where my latest store called Olivia's Corner sells 
chocolates and wine and cheese and snacks and so on Olivia's Corner dot RN brand dot UK and you can go to my merchandise site where I sell Guyanese made merchandise and channel merchandise RN brand dot UK and check out all the other companies that I'm building online share this video with friends and family let people know what's happening here in Georgetown, Guyana. Later! Some guys catching fish in the trench here in Georgetown. They don't look like they know what they're doing. What are you catching? They're looking for tilapia. These guys are catching tilapia. So let's go on to Crow Street. <laughs> 